Hey Capricorn, this is going to be your weekly reading for January 3rd through January 9th. I'm going to be doing things a little bit different to where you get like a weekly reading all to yourself. I was doing it like this before. It was just a lot of different videos. But I'm going to start doing it like this again. That way people can have their own videos. And kind of sum up the week a little bit. <clears throat> As if with any other video, take what resonates and leave the rest. Keep in mind that you can always change anything that you want. What the cards say is not your destiny. What you choose for your life is your destiny. So, I have this available on my online store along with some other things if you're interested. Everything that you need to know about me is down below in the description box. We're going to go ahead and get started. All right, Spirit, what does Capricorn have to look forward to for the week of January 3rd through January 9th? If this is your birthday week, happy birthday. Have the three of swords the knight of pentacles the devil the hanged man king of wands and the nine of swords i feel like you're definitely trying to heal or you're trying to move on from some kind of heartbreak or disappointment some of you uh could be dealing with A fire sign but you don't have to be you could also be dealing with another earth sign but you don't have to be <clears throat> the three of swords tells me that you have been kind of like at a standstill when it comes to your heart I feel like you're going back and forth with it like one day you're good the next day you're not you know and that happens a lot when it comes to healing Capricorn so it's like um, I do feel like you are trying to move on from a sense of disappointment. You do know that this is the area that you want to go in. Like, you want to have that forward movement. The Knight of Pentacles is all about very slow moving, building up a foundation. It's almost like... You are trying to heal, but you're trying to do it at a very consistent and slow pace. It's not something that you're trying to rush simply because I feel like once it's healed, you want it to be healed. You don't want it to be one of those things that you rushed. And then it's like a sense of, okay, I really didn't heal anything. And so I do feel like you are moving at a very slow and steady pace. Um, 
You could also be dealing with an energy. Now, see, the devil is your energy, but you could also be dealing with um, an energy in your life that you are trying to build a foundation with that you're kind of iffy on. It could be uh, making you feel a bit off-center. Um, there could be some pain or some confusion linked to this energy. It could be a sabotaging type of energy. Like you could be dealing with somebody who is very sporadic or very self-sabotaging or somebody who is always in their devil energy. And you're wanting to build a foundation with this energy, but I feel like that you're kind of in the hangman position of... How do I even go forward with this? Um, the thing is, is that Capricorn, it's showing, like if you look around the hanged man's head, you see this, this halo, right? The hanged man has all the information that they need. They're just not using it yet. And it's like, I feel like you have the information that you need. It's just that... It's the question of, do you even want to pay attention to it? We do have the King of Wands. The King of Wands energy, like I said, it could be a fire sign, but it doesn't have to be. It's just a sense of somebody who is, um, who you see as very confident. Somebody that knows what they want. Somebody who doesn't back down. Um, somebody who's really presenting themselves to you. But also keeping in mind that this, this energy, any of the fire energies, any of the wand energy, it's also a sense of they can come on strong, but then they can back off just as quickly. And this could be something that is, like, really throwing you off a little bit. <clears throat> this could be something that's, like, really throwing you off to where you're like, what am I even supposed to do with this? You could be getting, like, a hot and cold type of vibe from a person or from a situation. The Nine of Swords is you being in your head about it. You trying to figure it out. Is it me? Is it something that I did? Is it something that I need to change? Is there something different that I need to do? I feel like you might be beating yourself up about the situation. Especially if this person is not coming right out and telling you what is going on with them. With the hot and cold. Um, if that's what they're doing. But I just, I have the vibe or I have the feeling that with this, this is totally about an energy you're trying to move forward with. This very well could be a past energy considering that the Three of Swords, you know, you could be trying to mend some kind of heartbreak or trying to mend, trying to make something okay in your mind in order to associate with this person or in order to try to go forward with this person. But with the Nine of Swords, I do feel like you are trying to kind of, it's almost like you're placing blame on yourself as to what is it that I can do differently. And the, and the, the answer to that, Capricorn, is nothing. There's nothing that you can do differently, especially if somebody is coming in and they're being hot, cold, and they're kind of leaving you in a hangman position. I feel like this could be surfacing um, insecurities within you as to what can I do differently? And it's almost like you're trying to fix it in that way. But this is not really anything for you to fix. This is something that you're going to have to sit with and just let them come to you type of thing. Um, and I think that you know this. I do think that you know this, and but the thing is, is that you're not used to not taking action. And so it, it's a sense of, I feel like I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing enough. Capricorn, you're all about doing. You're all about work. You're all about that. I can't just sit here and do nothing. But 
in this case, this is one of those you have to sit here and do nothing and let them work out whatever it is that they're working out. And if nothing else, maybe you can ask them what their deal is. But the thing is, is that are they going to tell you? Are they going to let you know? The plus side about the Nine of Swords is that it's a very temporary uh, type of feeling. It's you being in your head. And it's basically um, letting you know that you're making a mountain out of a molehill. Like you're making something more than what it is. Which means that you're probably blaming yourself for things that you shouldn't be blaming yourself for. So, you know, I do feel the sense that you are trying to move forward and you're trying to move past and you're trying to get through what you need to get through and focusing you know knowing that this could be happening this could be letting you know to kind of focus more on yourself continue to grow nice and steady for yourself but focus on yourself just a little bit more and don't worry about this person that could be coming in and kind of derailing you a little bit. You know, I feel like they could be shaking you up just a bit. But keep in mind that they might be doing that out of a self-sabotaging type of reason. You know, um, be, be weary about people who play games. So that's how I, that's what I have for you for this week. I'm sending you a bunch of love, light, healing, and protection. I will talk to you next week. Have a great week and be sure to take care of you.